your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. What do you know about New Testament miracles? In this series of lessons on your daily 180, we're talking about the work of the Holy Spirit and we're beginning to talk about miracles. Now, in our last lesson, we saw that there are three terms used to describe a miracle in the New Testament. There's the word dunamis, which means power. It's the idea, we get words from it like dynamite or dynamo. And then there's the word sign, which is the exclusive word that John uses in the Gospel of John. And the idea of a sign is it points to something else. It confirms a certain thing. And then there's the word wonder, which has to do with the amazement and the awe attached to the idea of that particular work. Now, there are all three words are used in Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 4 and also Acts chapter 2 and verse number 22. We'll look at those in days to come, but right now I want us to look at John chapter 20, verse 30 and 31, and I want us to see the idea of the necessity of these miracles, not for today, but in the first century, and the benefit that we have of being able to look at the evidence in Scripture that these miracles actually occurred. Now, notice, begin with me at verse number 30. And truly, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Now, I want you to get this. The Holy Spirit has inspired the Apostle John to write about these signs, and he says there are other signs that he did, but these are written. He took the very best evidence to present to us that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, and that believing that we may have life. We can look back at the miracles contained in this book, and we find the evidence that we need to become New Testament Christians. Now, if that's the case, then I need to know all I can about New Testament miracles so that as I examine the evidence, I'll understand how to look at the evidence and I'll understand what to be looking for relative to the idea of evidence. And when people talk about modern day miracles, I will be able to take what they call a miracle and what the Bible calls a miracle and compare them. Join us as we continue this important subject.